Welcome to this short video produced for the GFTATS virtual desk of the EU FND Open Session 2020. I am Etienne Chevan, a veterinary working for the European Commission for the Control of Foot and Mouse Disease. In this video, we will describe the objective of the PCP stage one and the resources available to assist countries embarking on the PCP FMD. The progressive control pathway for foot and mouse disease is the main tool of the first component of the global FMD control strategy. On the map on the right, you can see that the PCP FMD is successfully implemented in more than 70 countries worldwide. The countries in PCP stage zero or one which are the matter of that video, are marked on the map in red or orange. The PCP stage one focus is as follow. One country in PCP stage zero or one should aim at gaining an understanding of the epidemiology of FMD in the country and develop a risk-based approach to reduce the impact of FMD. In other words, a country either in PCP stage one or zero should aim at identifying what are the risks related to FMD and identify the possible control option for foot and mouth disease. To enter PCP FMD stage one, one country shall develop a risk assessment plan. And to complete PCP FMD stage one, one country shall develop a so-called risk-based strategic plan. The resources that are available to, as to assist one country either in stage zero or one to develop such plans, so either a risk assessment plan or a risk-based strategic plan, some resources can be accessed through the GFTAD website. On this GFTAD website, you will find the global foot and mouse disease control strategy document, as well as the PCP FMD guidelines second edition that were produced in 2018. On this website, you will be also able to download the risk assessment plan template and the risk-based strategic plan template. And within those two templates, you will find some extra guidance uh, for the veterinary services to develop their national control strategy. Another useful source of resources are the EU FMD websites. One of them is the EU FMD virtual learning website, in which you will be able to access two short open access e-learning courses on the PCP. The first one being, what is the progressive control pathway? And the second one is an introduction to the progressive control pathway. In addition to those two relevant open access courses, two additional courses that you may find relevant for your uh, case will be developed. The first one is how to write an RBSP. This will be an open access course soon available on the virtual learning platform. And the second one is how to write a risk assessment plan. That course will be available early 2021. In the second EU FMD website, which is the institutional website of the FAO section EU FMD, you will also find some resources such as the Knowledge Bank, podcast, reports, and more resources to know more about our past and foreseen activities. Another, an additional source of resources are the PSO system. On the right of the screen, you see a screenshot of our institutional website with the section dedicated to the PCP support officer system. The PCP support officer is, uh, is um, an initiative developed by the GFTAD FMD working group to assist countries in the early stage of the PCP to develop either a risk assessment plan or a risk-based strategic plan. To know more about 
the PSO system, please review our interview series on the EU FMT YouTube channel. Finally, you will find some extra resources such as the self-assessment tool. The self-assessment tool is an Excel-based questionnaire which has been designed to help the veterinary services assessing the level of completion of FMD surveillance, control and prevention activities. Some YouTube videos, video tutorial developed both in French and in English are available on our EU FMD YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy that video and let's meet soon during the UFND Open Session 2020. Thank you.